Hi, Jason. Hi, Ollie. So I'm going to ask you a few questions here. Uh, sorry in advance, some of them are a bit, you know. First one, your favourite music era ever? 80s. Favourite music era artist ever? Uh, Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan, wow. S snap. Live or studio? Live. Favourite live location? Uh, in, Lebanon, <laughs> in Lebanon, there's an amazing outdoor oh. theatre. I can't remember what it's called. Belbec okay. Theatre, maybe. Belbec Theatre, Lebanon. Theater, Lebanon. Okay. Yeah, an old, ancient sort of Roman, you know. Oh, like an amphitheatre yeah. type thing. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. So once the yeah. scene of gladiatorial battles, exactly. and then the yeah. scene of jazz. Yeah, thrown so, to the jazz lions. The jazz lions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only right and proper. Thank you very much. Burning Room. Which would you save, your vintage Rhodes or your uh, nine-foot Steinway? Steinway. Burning Room, uh, Rhodes or Wurlitzer, which would you save? Rhodes. Rhodes, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, Rhodes. Is it a suitcase? <laughs> it's a suitcase. It's, a it's, yeah. it's whichever Rhodes, Rhodes of Rhodes. your choice. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Hammond B3 or Rhodes? I'd save the Rhodes. You'd save the oh, Rhodes, Rhodes is every my single yeah, time. Rhodes is the, for me. Okay. If you hadn't been uh, a muso, what else would you have done? Um, I'd have been a footballer. Oh, no. did, you, did you have skills? Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> or um, computers, computer oh, computers. program. I could do a bit of, I was a bit nerdy. Some may argue I still am. Yes, uh, I wasn't going to say a word, <laughs> you know, not this, prox <laughs> not this proximate. Uh, Minogue or Mingus? <laughs> like, I mean, even, Sorry, if, don't, I, don't, even don't, if it was don't Minogue, strike. I could never answer that. <laughs> <You> <laughs> <could> like, <laughs> Mingus, yeah, Mingus. Okay, uh, Herbie or Keith? Oh, Ooh, on camera as well. I think Herbie. Herbie? But it's very, it's unfair, it's unfair because I love Keith too, but Herbie yeah. is, Herbie really was, you know, when I was 14, I mean, he was the one that got me into jazz, into really. Jazz. Okay, uh, <laughs> Liberace or Les? Les, Les come Les. on, Les. <laughs> it's got to be Please Les. Please explain who Les is for the people. Les Dawson is, <laughs> yeah, Les Dawson is a comedian, you know, English comedian who played bad know. piano on purpose. But deliberately talented yeah. bad yeah. piano. Yeah, exactly. Okay, best gig ever. Probably the best gig I've ever done was the Streatham Youth Club talent composition oh. Oh, well, when I was 15 and it was the first, I might have even been 14, it was the first band oh. that I'd been in and we went in for the Streatham Youth Club talent yeah, competition and we won. And you won? Yeah, we won £50 and, and we bought our own amp. Since. Well, in a way, it was the first it thing I'd ever done. To the yes. I mean, it was such a yes. magical no, first experience, you know, it'd be moment. hard to top that really. Uh, favourite new talent of the moment? Oh, I quite like Laura Mvula. Mvula, yes. Oh, she's pretty, I'm quite impressed with her. I am music. as well. And there's a, there's a couple of great young piano players. There's an uh, English piano player called Kit Downs. Oh, yes. Who I think of course. is great. And Who's another one called Ivo Neem. And they're, both, okay. they're like younger, <coughs> they're sort of people, guys from the next generation the next downwards, generation. maybe okay. even more. But, you know, I like hearing the, it. It inspires them, me. Yes, it's inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. The, the most favourite advice you've ever been given? If you sound good when you're practising, you're practising the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, I'm going yeah. to okay. I'm going to zone in on that. Because I do rather like the sound of myself when I'm practising. <laughs> Don't we all? Favourite track off your new album? And they all, the thing is, they all feature different people, so yeah. if I say oh, one, oh, okay. then there's people going to be... Okay. I great. quite like, the track I quite like is there's one called um, In the Thick of It. Name of your new album, can you remember? It's called Anything But Look. Uh, date of release of your new album? 4th of November. First promotional gig after the date of release of your album? It's a bit of a way off, but it's actually 16th of January, because cool. that's... The only time everyone was free, That's cool. and, <laughs> but we're doing it in the in a club called Cargo. Oh, okay. In East London. In East London. Yeah. That's, I thought it was so, yeah. And website where people can peruse information about your new album. Well, it'll be on my um, my own website, which is Jason Rebello. 
lyte.co.uk and also Light Records, L-Y-T-E records.com. Excellent. Yeah. And finally, the guiltiest of all your guilty pleasures. The thing, well, the thing I do every week is a bit sad <laughs> and not that exciting. That's, that's how it but gets watch, to be a guilty pleasure. It does. And I, it, actually, it should be a guilty pleasure. Yeah. I watch Question Time and then this week oh. in a sort of double bonanza. Oh, so I've God. got sort of like half ten to after Amazing. twelve. Amazing. Oh. And I sometimes watch that and have chocolate. That's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That's quite funny. Yeah.